Hi, so finally onto 3D Studio Max. I know you're probably itching to start modeling, but if you're a beginner, there are elements of Max we need to cover before you begin, including, for example, the viewport layouts, the GUI, and setting up some preferences just so we're all on the same page. If you're a Max expert, you could probably skip this section, but I recommend you go through the lecture on scale as this will keep consistency with Unity and any model sharing you guys want to do. And I may supply you with models also. So um, just to ensure we're all in sync, make sure you do the lecture on scale at the very least. In this lecture, we're going to look at the viewport layer of 3D Studio Max, which at first glance can be quite confusing. Max is completely customizable and I'll take you through that so you can set it up uh, to your own working style. This is the configuration Max displays when it boots. Uh, just think of these as windows into your own scene viewed from different angles, basically. You know, to start we have top, then over here we have front, left and perspective. If you click inside each window like this, you can see uh, the selected window is highlighted with yellow, like that. So if you click around inside each one, you can see it highlights. So in the top left of each viewport, you'll see a line of text. Uh, and we'll cover what each one of these is at various stages through the course. But for now, if you just click on the plus sign in the top viewport like that and then you'll get a, a a menu go to the bottom and select configure viewports now go along to the tab that says layout like so so as you can see from these little graphic representations max has set the default option to this one here pink uh, you can see the four windows uh, matches that configuration and you can see it's highlighted too. Now if you select a different one, say if you wanted one full window, you just click on that, click apply, move the box out of it and you can see the window changes, the viewport changes just to one full window. Bring that back, uh, click on the next one, click apply and you can see again it changes. Now. Even though the layout changes, you don't have to keep it to top and to front. So you can choose the layout. For example, we can change it to horizontal split like so. And then change what type of viewport it is like this. So if I click in there, I can make that front. I can make that perspective. Click apply. And you can see it changes to front and perspective respectively. Uh, same for any any of these selections. If I select that one, click apply, and I can make that top, I can make that back, I can make that bottom, I can make that orthographic, click apply and they all change. Don't worry about orthographic at this stage. I will explain what that is in a later lecture. So for now, just change that back to perspective and click apply. If you move that out the way, you can see they've all changed to your options. But if we just click that initial layout, click apply, and then just click OK. We're back to where we started. Now, another way to change the type of viewport in each window. The first thing you can do is down here on the bottom right, is click on this little icon here, and that change it, changes from the configuration layout to a maximized viewport. So because I've got top selected and I'm clicking this button, it maximizes top. If I click it again and select perspective and click that, it will maximize perspective. So whatever one you've got selected, it will maximize that particular viewport. You can change the type of viewport by clicking on the word. 
see it says top there it says back there so if you click on the word and you can see all the options here so if i want to change that to right let's click right and it changes to right if i want to change that to back and change that to perspective just select it change that to top it does it the other way to do it is using the keyboard so each one of these you can see is assigned to a letter on the keyboard p u t b f k l and r so if i just press uh, l changes to left i change if i press if i press p down there I change to perspective if i change if i select this window over here and press R, it changes to right. So there's many ways you can manipulate the viewports. When I start modeling and showing you how to model various objects, I often work like this in perspective mode. And I use the keyboard to change the viewport like so as I work. So you'll be seeing me do that quite a lot, but I'll, I'll mention when I do it, so not to worry too much. Um, I will stop mentioning it after a while, but uh, I will tell you everything I'm clicking and what I'm doing in that respect. So that's pretty much the viewports. In the next lecture, I'm going to go over all these buttons and give you a full overview of what all this stuff does. Um, but as we go through the course and we start modeling, a lot of this will become clear and it's always better to learn why you're actually doing it rather than me waffling on. So I'll give you an overview and um, to give you a bit of a head start. So I'll see you in the next lecture.